1994, my first radio show. Competitions, songs, dedications. Couple of hours a week. Moved back to Pakistan, school, college, came back to Norway, and then moved to England. Came back from England. And then started my radio shows once again. Again, competitions, songs, dedications. Live interviews with celebrities from Pakistan and India. And then launched another radio station, Craze FM. 24-7 radio. With thousands and thousands of listeners. Which won the best and the most heard radio TV show in 2007. Moving forward 15 years ago, mom passed away after a couple of weeks after her going back to her creator. I stopped with uh, my radio station. I shut it down the moment my heart turned. The moment. I heard a beautiful lecture at a mosque in Oslo, went home. I uh, I started. Uh, I went online actually. Yeah, I went online when I got home. So people were tuned in. Thousands of people were tuned in because it was a twenty-four-seven show. It was stream, so people could dedicate songs to each other. And then I said, "This is the last time you are hearing my voice." on this platform and this is the last time you're hearing any song with me backing a, a platform such as Praise FM. Those of you who have been to Praise FM or those of you who witnessed that day remember and uh, they can testify that since that day till now I never hosted another show with music or anything uh, similar to that. But what happened? And what about uh, the whole situation now? How has that changed me as a person? And do I remember any songs? Do I remember any singers' names? Do I watch any Indian movies? No. Am I a different person? Kind of. I'm not listening to music anymore. That's one thing. And how am I in a position to tell others in a similar situation to stop whatever they're doing in the entertainment industry and, and change their life completely? Am I in a position to do that? I am, but I can't say it. You know why? Because I used to get advice like that as well. And I knew that uh, this is something which, as a Muslim, I should not indulge myself into. I should not be putting myself in a, in a position like that. Although I did not do any shows in Ramadan. Um, but still, that does not uh, make it a perfect uh, reason to continue after Ramadan. So the reason for me to record this today is... But that was my time. And if I look at somebody else who is going through the similar situation, their time will come as well. There's going to come a time when they will realize that there are more things to life than what they are doing. There are more important things in life that they can focus on. And I'm just talking about the whole situation as a Muslim. Everybody else can do whatever they want. But as a Muslim, I'm saying that music, when you get too much into it, when, when you're totally involved in it, kind of messes your mind up. And somebody will say, well, it depends on the music. Well, yeah, of course it does. But the thing is, it's still music. If you're not sad, listen to a sad song and uh, within a minute, you'll, uh, you'll have heartaches and... You'll, you'll think that you're in a relationship even if you're not 
And if you look at the kind of lyrics in the songs these days, you'll realize that this is not something for a Muslim person who wants to come closer to the Almighty. You cannot listen to lyrics and songs which push you into doing haram stuff and then just uh, pray five times a day and uh, feel that it's going to change. It's not going to change unless you cut off every single connection to this hobby of yours. And I'm saying this as a host of a of an extremely popular radio show that I used to do. I used to have Bollywood celebrities on my shows. I even, yeah, I would say this. I would, I even went so far as to say to one of my favorite singers, Kumar Shanu, that this is the best day of my life interviewing you. And I sang a live song in front of him. And I thank, I thank my creator for not taking my life that very moment. Because when I look back, it was not the best day of my life. And I used to adore that guy. I used to listen to every single song he sang. I used to sing in his style. And that was my dream to, you know, sing something. And I did with different singers online in my shows. And now when I look back, I can only say that was an experience I had to go through to make me realize that I can do better. And you can do better as well. If you cannot get out of this habit of uh, listening to songs, inshallah one day, your time will come. That's all I can say. I'm not going to judge you because I can recall the moments when people probably prayed for me as well. And now I am focusing 100% on charity work, helping millions and millions of people around the world, running... Uh, various uh, websites which have nothing similar to the radio shows that I used to do. I launched uh, the, the Quran radio.com which runs 24-7 with English translation as well. So yeah, keep me in your prayers and I'll keep you in mind.